Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today we're making homemade osobuco, my way. Let's begin. First, season the meat with flaky salt on both sides. Heat up a deep cooking pot to medium-high heat and add a drizzle of olive oil. Now sear the meat on both sides. Remove from the pot and set aside. If the meat has stuck to the pan, don't pull on it. Let it cook for a few seconds more and it should pop right out without burning. Now don't clean the pot. All of that color at the bottom is all the meat flavor. Drizzle more olive oil and add the diced onions. Cook for a few minutes, stirring every few seconds. Once they start softening and sweating, add the sliced carrots. Now add the crushed garlic. I usually prep ahead a large batch of garlic and freeze them with parsley and olive oil, but feel free to use fresh diced garlic. Stir every few minutes and add a touch of salt. Cooking just until the veggies have softened, about 5 minutes. Now add a splash of white wine. You can also use red wine or meat stock. Add a few drops of Worcestershire sauce and the tomato paste. Give it a good stir and to enhance the flavors already in the pot, add ground garlic, ground onion, ground black pepper, stir and cook for a few minutes, then add the chicken stock. Now add the thyme, rosemary, sweet paprika, and return the meat to the pot. Now let the osobuco simmer for at least an hour on low heat, stirring every so often. The longer the stew simmers, the more tender the meat will be. I'm mostly using whatever I have on hand, so feel free to make this recipe your own by substituting some of the ingredients. This is basically a meal made out of the ingredients in my fridge that are in the risk of going bad. Once the osobuco has simmered for an hour, I serve it with a side of homemade buttery mashed potatoes. And there you go, a homemade osobuco made with simple ingredients. This is not the traditional way to make osobuco, but it's incredibly flavorful and hearty, which is perfect for the upcoming fall season. I hope you give this recipe a try and thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!